And uh, we just put on three pork shoulders. So we're cooking them a little different. Okay, so Deborah and her mom are gonna show us how to make one of their delicious, tasty tamales with the pork shoulder that we just got done smoking for about, I don't know, it was about five hours, six hours. folks uh, we're uh, we're here at the Greenhorn homestead and uh, it's uh, early in the morning here it's just uh, shy of 7 a.m. Yeah, that's pretty early to, to us so and uh, we just put on three pork shoulders and um, They've been seasoned up, stabbed with my meter probes. So I got my uh, cell phone link right there. Um, got Sassy's blend of seasonings on there. We'll drop that in the description. And uh, these are three pork shoulders. And we're using a real basic uh, blend of pellets really nothing too special about those. Those are uh, the uh, competition blend from Pit Boss. So we're gonna roll smoke here at about a 250 setting. Those uh, pork shoulders are right out of the refrigerator. We seasoned them up last night, let them sit in the refrigerator all night and we put them on there, they're cold. As you can see, looking at the meter app, they're cold inside. They are 42 degrees internal temperature. That's cold. That's pretty much gonna guarantee us a nice smoke ring. So, we're gonna be cooking these for tamales. So we're cooking them a little different. All right, all three pork shoulders are just about ready to be wrapped. We let them get up to pretty close to 165. It's kind of hard to get them all to the same temperature at the same time on a Traeger. The upper shelf ends up being a little bit cooler, so I rotated them once. We're gonna go ahead and wrap them now. Since we're making these for tamales, I'm only gonna use a little bit of water as a spritz, uh, like I have been for the last hour or so, and just inside the foil, a little bit of water, and we're gonna really wrap it tight with the foil and then I'm gonna finish them off till I get up to about 194 or 195. Okay, so I used a double set of heavy duty foil. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit of water. It's pretty moist already, but you know, I just like to make sure it gets a little bit of moisture in there. Just a little bit, doesn't need much. What we wanna do is put the foil on there so tight it doesn't have a chance to, to steam up. So I'm gonna really make sure that really well, nice and tight, all right, nice and tight, all right, I'm going to do that two more times, back on the Traeger, we're going to be watching those temperatures. All right, here's the uh, pork shoulders. This one, uh, it's just the bottom of it. It's uh, upside down, but... Uh, Here's one right side up. It's got pretty good color from uh, that rub that Deb put on there. All right. Looks pretty good. So we didn't inject these or anything. And uh, 
I spritzed them with just water. And uh, again, these are going to be used for tamales. Let's see how it All right guys, I'm gonna help these two ladies out and uh, I'm gonna spice up that masa with some of the juices from all three of those pork shoulders. Shirley are going to show us how to make some delicious homemade tamales with the pork shoulder we just got done smoking for almost six hours and all their other ingredients. Okay, so now we're going to begin to make our smoked pork and hatch green chili tamales. We're also going to be adding some pepper jack uh, Tillamook cheese. You want to start by spreading your masa on your husk from one side all the way down. Okay, this. You don't want to take it too much over to the other side, just kind of halfway. This is still a little cold, so. Okay, you take it all the way to the end. Okay. And you take a nice, um, generous portion of your pork and you put it here like this. We like them chunky. Take a nice uh, sliver or two of the hatch green chili, lay it in there like that. Grab a piece of cheese. Put it closer to the bottom because you're gonna wrap it and then you know it might squeeze up so you don't want that to happen. Then you take the, the portion of the husk where you started the um, masa and you fold it all the way over and you pull it together real tight and then you just roll it all the way through. And then you fold up the tail like this You grab one of these wax tissues, you start at one corner, fold it once, fold in the ends, and continue rolling. This helps to keep your tamale moist when you're cooking them. A lot of people cook them in pots. I use a steamer. I use a steamer that, has a, and I, that I time for about 30 minutes and it, the tamales come out perfect every time. So I recommend a steamer if you can get your hands on one. Those are tamales. All right, Shirley, you're gonna show us how to make a, one of your tamales? Oh, sure. Um, the hard part was done this morning or this afternoon because the hardest part is the preparation. And the preparation is uh, buying and cooking the meat and, and then again, ordering the masa, uh, doing the, the chilies, they need to be toasted before they're, uh, before they're used, and then uh, they need to be cleaned uh, later. All the seeds need to be taken out, and all that is time consuming and hard, especially when you don't feel particularly well. So I see you're using two pieces of husk, because that comes to... Yeah, because this one was lacking in length. Not length, but width. <laughs> so you just double it up? Yeah, to, to have more to wrap it with. And uh, everything was already put together when I came in here. So I'm ready to just help her make the finished product. I work hard, huh, Mom? Yeah. I, okay, so you're putting a piece of cheese on there first and a couple of olives? I put a piece of cheese, a couple of olives, and a nice strip of this beautiful hatch chili. And uh, then I grabbed some meat, some just a little. Yeah, look at that. Meat. She's beautiful. And I tasted it, and it's really tasty. Real tasty. It's the first time we've made these yeah. with uh, smoked pork. I just, I really wanted to experiment and try it since, you know, smoked meats are 
just delicious flavorful in general so. yeah and this is an overkill on the smokiness on the, the moisture in when they're steamy and put them all together and you get a wonderful tasting tamale okay so how exactly do you cook tamales well i use this steamer it's an oster steamer it's easy to use I put about maybe I you can put I usually put just about eight or eight at a time. You can put eight or ten, but I put eight. So the steam comes up through here, through these little vents here in this plastic. And underneath is a little reservoir with water. So you fill it to the fill point there. And you just put this cover on. You put this on here. I cook them. For, I lean them up like this, give them all a little bit of room, you know, just uh, mix them up. You gotta be able to put this lid on here. And then I time it for about 30 minutes, exactly. And boom, timer goes off. We let them set for a few minutes, let them cool off. You don't wanna unwrap them right away because they'll like fall apart. But we wanna try out this new masa, so. Hopefully it's good. We tasted a tamale at the place we bought the masa from today. The masa was good. You know, we didn't really care for the insides, but. Um... All right, so we cooked these in the Oster steamer. And uh, I think we went uh, more than 25 minutes. We went probably about 30 minutes. We went 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. So we're gonna take a look at one of these uh, green chili Chili. Pork tamales. You can see that masa Pull away from the nicely leaf bed. cooked. Pull away from the leaf bed. It's pulling away pretty decently. These are still pretty hot. I didn't let them cool down long enough. So we season again. We season this masa up pretty good. It tastes pretty nice. Okay. Tastes really nice. The masa it tastes great. The seasoning from the juices from that pork shoulder. Uh, the pork tastes really terrific uh, after smoking on the Traeger and Sassy seasoning blend. Uh, the hatch green chilies, roasted hatch green chilies, are, are perfect. And the cheese and the olive kind of tops it off. Nice little texture and flavor. There we go. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this uh, particular episode of Tamales with uh, Greenhorn Barbecue Beer. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and tap subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. And we love it when you share with your friends on social media. See you later.